Hey Stampin' Friends, Darlene with Darlene Stamps. So I'm going to go back a couple months since it's taking me that long to get this together, but I want to show how I make alternates. And a lot of times these kits come and they have these great designs, which are fine and they have easy, but sometimes they come as a treat box or they come as something other than what kind of makes you smile. And so the March, we actually got two stamp sets because it's the anniversary. So this one comes for free. And so you can see on here that there's there's flowers and we have celebrate we had different things so um what i'm going to do today is kind of um a little more of just the structure of the pumpkins so this is the flowers that i cut out and then you see i use the embossing as under knife this creates great depth when you're doing a card and of course this is from a past pumpkin um but just giving you the idea of using the extra stamp and the flower. Um, this one, um, I kind of used February and March because you can see the paper behind there. This was just an old white frame that I did and then the paper to um, kind of cut off those corners. So here's a difference of using the background and you see that you still have the white frame, but then I kind of did a, a sponge on that bottom. And then also um, the extra um, side corners. So a little different there. And then um, this was taking the flowers again and February's envelope. And this was an odd piece that got cut and it just didn't quite fit. But I made it work for what this was. So just to kind of give you an idea, kind of getting out of the box of the set. But let me go through. And um, I'm not going to break or put it on pause. I'm just going to keep on going. So here is my pile. And what I've done is I have put it into groups. So this was navy blue, which is one of the colors. It was used for something else. But I'm going to use that for a piece um, in, our, in our area. So what I, done, I did was, um, so I start to group together. Um, what I like. So there's my round circle from here. And then you have the, um, the color, which is um, the pale papaya. And so what I do is I just take the elements. So here's the, um, it's kind of the embossed piece from the kit. And um, these all pieces go through. So this will probably be a card. That's how I do one alternate. Then I got kind of crazy with all of the um, green since this is old olive. So these leaves came in the March kit. And these came from the envelope. So I cut the envelope up and then take... Um, all of the pieces from the flap of the envelope. And so this will become, and there's several, so this will be actually be one um, multiple, maybe different sentiments, but it'll be a card. Um, then I go through and just make some bases because this will actually go on here. So when I'm doing my, my kit, one of the things is you want to look at the primary color obviously is white in here, so I want to be able to break that up. So what will happen is that, and I will come back and give you my samples, but I'm showing you. So I will make this as my layer. So this will be on top of the, the uh, olive, which brings out this color. So that's kind of will be one. Then this is just extras <clears throat> pieces when you cut up the envelope. So these two go together. So this will be, and I've already have the um, em envelopes, you know, the card by base already done. So that'll be a, a card. So what I do is go through and just say, okay, I've seen this card. I've seen this card. Um, these are the cards that came with it, but I have kind of an idea of these pieces that I've pulled together. And so this will be a card. So, when I do it, I base it on, okay, I've seen an idea, 
And so here's something that I'll kind of, I'll work on this, but right now it's still in pieces. So I actually start to build my idea based on what I like, what I see. I will, I will take something from Pinterest and go, oh, I like that layout. So this is from a layout and I'm just using the elements from this kit. So that'll be another card. Um, because there are several of these, these will be pretty much all the same. A little different, but they, because there was a lot of them. So this will be another design. Then I'm back to this one, which um, had a different, I used the, um, rather than using the solid green, I'm using the piece from the kit. Um, this was a, an idea that I saw, and um, I've got three bases on this. So these little uh, cattails will be with that. Um, and then I actually am going to use this from the... Um, by the dock and I'm going to cut out that dock and use it on this. So I'm just building my ideas from my kit. Um, this was one, this was an idea that I saw. So this is your layer piece with the circle in the middle and actually taking this card base and then this will be our, our theme inside. So anyhow, I'm going to be right back and I'm going to show you how these came together um, because gluing and putting is fine. But I wanted you to see how I kind of pieced it together and made my creation. I'll be right back. All right. So I need to get a little commercial break here because as I'm preparing the samples and doing kind of a now to wow or a step process, I want to show you my icky scissors. Now I do use a ribbon on them. So I know not to use them for anything else or my other ones look just like this that are my good ones. But do you see the icky glue? So let me move my little project so I don't get them all messed up. You can use, I use doTERRA because I sell it, but doTERRA lemon oil. And literally, let me just use my little wipes because they'll come off easier than using my hands. So, we are going to just put, I made a mess, I'm sorry. Um, so, use your oil. And the magic begins. So, no harmful smells. Um, nothing that's going to get anything. And it's really interesting because this lemon oil, um, the, the cotton may be doing it. Hold on. <laughs> Just do it straight. I was thinking that I would save some time by putting the cotton on there and it's not doing that. Um, but the lemon um, I have used in my water. So, it is really safe, but it also removes this gunk. So I thought that before I do it, I wanted to show you. And also to be able to, um, you know, a lot of times, and we're getting that off. See how clean it is now? I got more to do. But I wanted to show that to you. But as I was needing to use them, I wanted to show you how I clean it. So now we have nice, clean scissors. I have a little bit more to do, but there you go. I'll be right back with my samples. Okay, so I have my my uh, process in place, and I want to show you, this idea came from Debbie Anderson, but I want to show you what we call a step up. So this is taking that picture and um, from the cardstock. So I didn't change the card base whatsoever. Did some bling that came with the set. Did some of the old olive, and I shifted the picture down um, but I'll show you an idea. So this was the idea. Okay. She shifted it up. So this is how kind of inspiration starts. So I did some of the, my whole punch um, green leaves. And you can see that it's flat. Only thing that's popped up is this. Now we'll do a step up. And the step up will be here. A little bit more. Put that right there so then this one um, I used the set from um, March of last year just for little little birds um, and then did more greenery and then as you can see a um, little bit maybe no um, yeah see there's a shadow so this whole thing 
I popped up the whole panel I popped up and also popped up the leaves so you'll see how um, it will be glued here but you use the small dimensionals here and gives it that 3d and then I had some little pieces always keep your scraps this is a small piece I already had cut wanted to bring in some more dimension in there so there's the second step up and then here is the third and this is the white base just saying so then here's the next one so now we've got the um, envelope uh, yeah envelopes this is the underneath of the layer and as you know what I do I saved I cut a circle out of the middle to use for later so because no one's gonna see this bottom piece and it's beautiful DSP so same circle same bass and I have a little white border around there and then did some of the bling that came with there I added the bow just because it needed a little bit more weight and then have my thinking of you and I punch I pop this one up so you'll see I actually weigh my cards um, when I put my heavy um, like sentiments on you see how they are all on one side so um, if I put this in the envelope I will put this side on the inside because when they run through the uh, post office they won't feel any kind of bumps for it to cost more money so then this is my heavy side anyhow so that is what we call a step up you can see that so basically um, yeah just to kind of save time with the uh, video I'll just uh, keep the three and you saw the first ones with the um, the uh, flowers. So, anyhow, I hope you like this. Um, it, it's one of those step up process that um, you can use with anything. It's just a matter of adding different elements and stepping it up every single time to a little bit more. So, enjoy the video. Uh, thanks for staying with me and subscribing. I've been um, um, just busy with work and things, so not as been as. Um, uh, busy um my presence on youtube so i'll try to make that but thanks for so much and you have a great day bye